Today is a gray, wet, rainy day. And while I'd love to show you around the city, it's a gray, wet, rainy day. Yeah, it's not really that much fun. Uh, nonetheless, we are going to go out and see a motorcade. Uh, Barack Obama is coming back to the White House for the first time since, well, since he left, actually. And we'll catch his motorcade. I think you guys will be kind of underwhelmed because the former president's motorcades, they're not quite like the, the, the current president's motorcade. Uh, then I've got to run some errands today. So maybe I'll take you out to Northern Virginia for an errand or two. The steam tunnels are just venting like crazy today. All over by the White House here. It's like every possible vent has got steam coming out. It's actually kind of dangerous to drive. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. As with the weather being all meh, nah, I'm taking this day to uh, recharge and restock. I am out in suburban Virginia, out by Dulles Airport, and we're going to go to one of the largest camera shops in the D.C. area so I can get some more supplies and give you guys even better pictures. I mean, what else am I going to film in the rain? Yeah, so let's go inside. So back in 1992, a group of uh, telecom providers in the D.C. area got together and created what was known as May East, M-A-E East. And that was Metropolitan Area Ethernet or something like that. That became one of the nexus, one of the main points of the Internet. And around May East developed tons and tons of Internet companies, including this one. 2200 AOL way. Yes, this is America Online. This is what's left of America Online's old offices. I believe this was their headquarters. Uh, I think I actually went for a meeting here or two. AOL eventually occupied like a half a dozen buildings out here in Virginia. Uh, looks to be quite, quite empty now. I believe they have relocated. But this is actually AOL Way. That's the name of this road, AOL Way. And this is where America Online was, uh, was headquartered. Just think of it, guys. Somewhere back in these buildings, they came up with, you've got mail. <laughs> so we're out by Dulles Airport. 
Not gonna go to the airport today. Also gonna skip the Air and Space Museum. I've got other videos on my channel where I went to the Air and Space, but today I got a little bit of a hurry. But there is one other building down here I wanted to show you because, well, technically, I don't know if it exists or not. <laughs> so you see these glass buildings here with the satellite dishes on top? There's a reason they're satellite dishes. So guys, we are out in a nondescript office park and this is the Aerospace Corporation, which is an interesting name for a company. And they've got like dedicated generators. And then there's another one of these buildings. And this one is, this is it. Employee entrance. And the employee entrance to this building is pretty secure, as is the parking garage. You see, this building over here is the NRO, National Reconnaissance Office. And the NRO, well, they're the guys who look at the data from spy satellites, yeah? Government spy satellites are basically run by the NRO, the National Reconnaissance Office. And they're set up out here in this nondescript, unmarked office park in Northern Virginia. So up here, we're gonna get a look at the entrance. Again, oh, the entrance is all secure. They're at NRO, they actually got their name on the, on the thing there. Where is this place? Over here on the left? Yeah. So out here, guys, you see the Dulles Expo Center. And this is kind of like a miniature convention center. Uh, you can go here for like a gun show, you can go here for a train show or a kids event. But until recently, just recently, the Dulles Expo Center was the first port of call for Afghan refugees. You see, the US government rented out the Dulles Expo Center and this is where they brought all the Afghan refugees, former military, former government, and their families. They brought them to the Expo Center, they processed their paperwork, then they dispatched them to military bases and cities around the US. So for most Afghan refugees, this was their Ellis Island. Yeah. rescue squad just rolled up here and down the corner there is the hazmat unit. What the heck is going on?
Yeah, if he's just grabbed it. Nothing except these uh, these hammer guys out in the street. More motorcycles arriving. All right, let's go home. Probably to let them in. Oh yeah, I didn't know they were behind. This is it. There she is. Madam Vice President! Alright guys, that was the evening, yeah? I thought I was going to get this video out early, but then I got a phone call that the Vice President was on her way to an undisclosed location, off the schedule, so managed to track her down, let you see that. I'm going up now to take a nice warm shower, because I've been in the rain for over two hours while she had dinner. Not much fun. Thanks a lot for watching guys, subscribe if you haven't, I'll see you all tomorrow.